Hello guys, today I'm just making a video on some basic uh, tips on how to use the functions VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in Excel. So this video will be helpful for those who are taking uh, IGCSE Information and Communication Technology, such as, uh, which is short for ICT, or for those who want to use these functions in real life or in general use. So uh, yeah. If you guys have uh, enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And uh, let's start with the video. Okay, so now you guys have to understand some basic idea uh, behind what VLOOKUP is and what behind what HLOOKUP is. So VLOOKUP allows you to search a data range that is set up vertically. And HLOOKUP is the exact same function, but looks up data that has been formatted by rows instead of columns. So uh, VLOOKUP is mostly used for vertical search of data and each lookup is used for horizontal search of data. So I'm just going to go through some questions on how to use these functions in Excel itself. So first of all, I'm going to click on a cell and the question is asking you to find the make and model of a product with house with housing code 8020. So now what you need to do is you need to put an equal sign. Once you put an equal sign, you just need to write we look up since we look up is for vertical search of data. So once you do that, you're indirectly using that function to search for data in vertical, uh, meaning like in columns itself. So you're going to write VLOOKUP. Once you do that, you're going to put it in brackets. You just hit shift, put brackets. Now you're going to look for the lookup value, which is in this case H020. It's going to hit that one there. Excel should automatically identify the cell's location, or you could just type it yourself uh, any way you guys like. So once you do that, you're going to put a comma. Once you put a comma, now you have to highlight the table array. Now the table array, in this case, you have to highlight the table in which you want to find this value in or where you want to return this value. So you're going to highlight the cells. Once you do that, so we're not highlighting the... Uh, we're not highlighting the names. Now, the reason why we're not highlighting the names is because we don't we don't need uh, Excel to search through them, so it's unnecessary to just uh, highlight them as well. So now we're going to put a comma. Now you have a column index num. So now the good thing about Excel is that it lists down what criteria you guys need to put in order to find this value in this certain type of table. So the column index number is where you're going to return the value in the cell. So in this case, we have to find the make a model for the code hatch zero to zero so in this case make it model lies in the third column as you guys can see a b c c is the third column and you're just going to write three there once you do that you're going to put a comma and now you have a decision whether to choose a true match or a false match so now true is just a basic default it just stands for approximate match but if you guys want the exact value you're going to write false because false is the exact match so now once you do that you're going to write false there itself hit shift put the brackets itself there now, once you do that, you're going to write, click, just click enter, hit that enter button, and you should be getting the value that you're going to search for in this table. Now, the good thing about Excel is that using these lookup functions, such as VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, it helps you to easily find the data in this large set of data or in this range. So, in this case, we uh, have found the value, or in this case, the make and model of the product with housing code 8020, which is supposed to be like light 6233.01. And we have found that value. So now that's pretty awesome on how these functions have been used. And uh, that's a basic idea on how VLOOKUP is done. Now I'm just going to show you how HLOOKUP is done. Now the basic idea behind HLOOKUP is that HLOOKUP is used for the horizontal row search. So basically what I mean by this is that HLOOKUP is used for the horizontal data search. And the hatch just gives it away. So what you're going to do is you're going to put equal sign. You're going to write H look up now one thing to keep in mind and you're going to put the brackets as well is that uh you can, if you guys can see the table it's giving you the student code the name the math marks english marks and science marks so you're making little marks of all the students itself so based on understanding this is that uh we have to find the science mark that is received by a student with this student code m010 so what we're going to do is, is the lookup value is M010, and you're going to put a comma there. Once you do that, you're going to highlight the table array. So now, in this case, since student code, we have to highlight all the cells of this table, which consists of rows and columns. Once you highlight that, you're going to put a comma again, and you're going to write the row index number. So this is where the marks are going to be 
delivered for the cell. So since you have to find the science mark, science mark seems to be appearing in the fifth row of this table. So you're going to write five there. Once you do that, you're going to put a comma again. And you want to check if you guys want a true match or a false match. So in this case, you want a false match. So you want the exact match. You're going to hit there, false. Once you do that, you're going to hit shift, put the brackets there, and hit enter. Now, once you hit enter, you should be getting the grades or the marks received by the student with this code M010. If you guys want to search it up in the data, you can as well. So if you look at this, the student with the code M010 is Colt. And Colt seems to have got 76 in his science mark, which is pretty not bad. So yeah, so this is some basic insight on how VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is done. If you guys have uh, enjoyed the video, please do again like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And do comment below on what your thoughts are for the lookup functions or whether I should solve past papers or continue solving topic questions. Do comment below. And uh, yeah, new content will be posted soon. And do check out my other videos, which I'm going to be showing now on the screen. And they might really be helpful. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it. All right. Bye, guys.